All right, so now it comes this answer for your question of the magazine about the posture, the footstool, or this. What, it, what it is this caution thing? Well, these ones, there are two, two of them. One is this size, the other is smaller, this one. This one, the two size. I, I really recommend you this one here the smallest one against this, because this one is too high and this one you can use it also in addition to the footstool let me show you how and why look, we said before the posture for holding the guitar in Savika's time was this one here like this I will place the guitar here and then hold it with my arm and that was the way to do it so here I have my left hand working and I'm tightening with this. The, four, the postures will be not very practical, this thing. Now, the Paco's way to play, which is cross leg, now he also uses the, the footstool, but this was a great change that Paco made about the crossing leg posture. <laughs> With the guitar straight, and then I, I can have a much better performance this way. Now, to get this, we could do two things. One is depending, of course, you need to chair to a chair suitable for you. And for that, I want you to search chair the proper chair to play flamenco guitar. It's one video I, I made a long time ago when I was living in Canada. The Royal Conservatory who made that video to explain with a tall student of mine how uh, to be short or tall it affects when you are choosing a chair. So this chair, provided with you have your proper chair, let me give you the example from my size, body size, and then you do yours following those advices. Look, two things. We have this here. Right? Now in order to get the same posture, the same angle, everything of the guitar that I have with my cross leg, then I will get the footstool for me here is on the second level thing. You have here some dents, in this case one, two, three, four, and this is on the second dent. So it's not too high, not too low, but just on the second dent. Put that and now. If I cross the leg like this, check the, the level I have the guitar in. If I do this now, look, it's exactly the same with the right, uh, with the with the right leg on the footstool, in the second. Look, this is the Paco's posture, cross leg. This is with the footstool. You see, it's the same, exactly the same. Look. It's the same exactly this, then this. Now, another thing. Sometimes you can also combine that with the small caution. If you are going to, this one is too big, as I said, in my opinion. I will post at the description of this video the link of this product also, so that you can get it if you are interested. This thing, if I don't use any any footstool, this was designed originally to to get a bottom foot on the floor, normal, just like. Like if I'm here seated like this, so I have both foot here, and then with this thing I don't need to raise any foot. I just get the guitar. Right? I 
can play it here without footstool, nothing on the foot. So this is one thing, but as I said before, this is too big for me. Those were developed uh, because of the idea that, that we may not uh, twist the body weird or things like more anatomic way to, to play. And that's why those, these things, and another kind of, of stance, I, I'm sure you have seen them, something that, that goes here. And then different supports for guitar, right? But this one here, the caution, this is very practical. Look, this is the big one, and this is the small one. And then let's take these, and now use the foot, the, the foot stool on the first dent, and the caution. So I will use this, plus this banquito thing, the foot stool, on the first dent, on the lower one. Here there are four, this is the, this is the biggest, then this, this is the third, this is the second, and this is the first. So I will use first foot stool on the first, then and the lower caution, like this. This for me is very good. You don't have to play many hours a day, as I do. I play eight or nine hours a day. Even for those who play one or two, you need to be switching postures to not get tired. That's a good idea, not playing just in one posture. This one here, look, this will be with the footstool on one. Let me show you the difference of level of the guitar. This thing here is footstool on one. This thing here is footstool on two. On the second. On the second end. On the first end. Now, if I use that first uh, footstool on the first dent and the lower caution, this one, this is very good. You cannot use just one posture if you're playing two or three hours or even two hours or one. So this is, comes handy, this thing. And uh, of course, in classic guitar, because th those were developed for classic guitar, I'm only the first person using this instrument, I know, because I have many friends in classic world, and they told me uh, that no one uses this. In flamenco, but you are using it, I explain why now. So, this is one thing. And then another is that remember that the, the posture is important to not get tired and have a better performance of, or practice time. 